Well hello everybody and welcome back to another video and on today's video we're going to be trying to fit some 205 7015 Yokohama Geolander all-terrain tyres to a standard caddy van, short wheelbase caddy van. Um, I don't know if they're going to fit, we're going to try um, and fingers crossed that they do fit and you might be asking why am I fitting these to the van and why am I not going the traditional route, the route that makes the caddy vans look really good. Dropping them, slamming the suspension, 19s, fat wheels. Yeah, they look they look nice. And every time I see one driving around, I'm like, yeah, that looks that looks awesome. I want my van to look like that. And I love the way it looks. And I even think it makes the caddy van look a lot better. It makes the proportions look better when they're lowered. But I just didn't feel it was practical for my application. And if you didn't already know from the previous video I did, with a, I did a little wild camp in the back of the van, I was thinking about turning it into a, a mini camper van. Well, yeah, I'm in talks with somebody and they are, they've agreed to help me build the van, do like the van build. So that looks like it's going ahead and um, this will be the first upgrade. And I just wanted to put all trains on it because um, I want the ability to go everywhere, not worry about it. You know, I don't want to go onto a grassy campsite and get stuck. So I've got plans to do stuff in the van and I just want to be able to go on all terrains. Um, and also you get like a, I think it's a 60,000 mile warranty with these tyres. So they last a long time. So they don't wear out. They're all season. They've actually got the three peaks on for snow. So they're rated for snow and ice. We're in November now. We've got winter coming soon. The front tyres on this van are very low. They're on three mil. And they've just got to be changed. So the time came for an upgrade. So that's why I'm going for that. Uh, that's why I'm going for the, uh, the Caddy Swamper look. Which is lifted, bigger tyres. Well, I'm not lifting it. I'm not lifting it. I don't want to lift it. I hope I don't have to lift it. I really don't want to have to go to all that trouble, to be honest. But right now, I just want to hope, put them on, see if they fit. I think they're going to fit. I couldn't really find anything on the internet. Conclusive. They're only one size up. I think it's one size. I've got 195, 65, 15s on at the moment. But I couldn't get any all-terrains in that size. This was the smallest size in a 15-inch I could get in an all-terrain. So, yeah, that's that's what we're doing. There we are, Yokohama, Geolander, 80s, 205, 70, 15. That's how they fit. So let's go. Let's go and see if I can get them fitted. They're in the back. Let's go find a tire shop. One nine five, two oh five. Don't look that different to me. No. Loads of room. So I've got the tyres fitted and there doesn't seem to be any fitting issues. Uh, we checked them up on the ramp, we moved them 
you know, turn the steering wheel left and right, you know, on full lock. And there's a good bit of clearance between them, and then it's like a good bit of clearance between the, 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 the tyre and the strut as well. So there's no issues whatsoever. Um, I'm now driving, no issues, nothing, no rubbing, no scuffing, no catching. No extra noise either. It seems to be okay to be fair. But you know the van's not exactly quiet anyway. Since I removed that half of the bulkhead, a bit noisier and the back's not been um, sound deadened or insulated in any way yet. So it's there's always a drone from that anyway when you drive in more than 30 mile an hour. So but yeah, I'm happy enough. There's no, like I say, there's no drama with the tyres. I'm not going, oh my God, they're really noisy and annoying or anything like that. So it's all good, in my opinion. So I think let's find somewhere to pull up, take a little look at the tyres fitted. So we haven't really looked at them properly yet. I've literally just left the garage and jumped in the van and came out on some country lanes to see how it feels. and. I want to have a little look at them myself. So we'll find somewhere to park up. So let's have a little look at these. Let's see what they look like on the van. There we go. Looks pretty good. They're in their natural habitat now. <laughs> yeah, they look good, they do. I like those. What do you think now, the wheels? Do you think I should do the wheels black now? What do you think that would look like with black wheels? Do you think it would look better now that I've put those tyres on? Hmm, I don't know now. Let's have a little look from the back to see what sort of stance it gives it being a little bit wider. It actually sits a bit better as well. Yeah, I like that, it looks good now. It just needed those extra little bigger tyres I think they looked a little bit small on it and I was kind of hankering for some 19s <laughs> but I knew that they wouldn't be that functional for me yeah I like those they look good so look at the front Ooh. a little bit muddy here though it needs a new fog light I oh, know yeah yeah I like that Yeah, that looks good now. You may have noticed I took the bottom spoiler off. Bottom, that little spitter thing. I smashed it again. <laughs> yeah, it went down this little dip. It, was, it wasn't even anywhere like this. I was actually just going to the Chinese takeaway. <laughs> and I parked on the side of the road and there was like a little dip. And as I went down into the dip, I heard this little, not a big noise, just a little bang. And I thought it was nothing. I got out I got out when I got home, nearly nearly ripped my shin off. There was a big sharp bit of plastic sticking out <laughs> where it had obviously broke, the wind had caught it, pulled it out, stabbed me right in the leg as I was walking past. I was like flipping out, what's that? And then it was hanging off, so half of it was smashed. Yeah, it was inevitable it was gonna get ripped off anyway at some point. I've already damaged it about three times since I bought the van. I've no idea how the previous owner had that on for so long. It looked like it'd been on there a while. God knows how he never damaged it, but that's gone now. So, looks like I'm going for the swamper look now then. Bigger tyres and whatever. So yeah, let the mods begin. Right guys, that's it then, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Hopefully you found the video interesting. Hopefully you even maybe got some useful information out of it. Cause I, I didn't find anything online about fitting 205 70 15s to a standard caddy van. Um, it was all just at the larger sizes, you know, like 19s and 18s, everyone seems to be putting on them. 
so yeah um i'm gonna get off now i'm gonna go home i'm gonna make myself some dinner and i will see you guys on the next one and hopefully you'll be watching the van build soon so see you guys later bye thanks for watching <laughs>